I am Renny Rezepi. Yes, we are number one restaurant in the world, uh, if you have forgotten that. I'm going to take you back a little bit through memory lane for me. I'll take you back nine years to a time where we opened the, the restaurant. How do you somehow create a new flavor? Is it enough just to use ingredients? Does that somehow shape a, a cuisine or a culture of eating? This is a wild duck. We're gonna imagine this duck flying, okay? Actually, it, it can fly like that. <laughs> this duck, it got shot as it was landing. It rolled over. What was the last dying images it had? This is it, actually. This was the last dying images. It lands to the soil, the earthy tones. These beets we cook, and for a long time, they become sweet and almost waxy in, in texture. I wouldn't recommend for you guys to try this at home because it's a very special process. There's either aging or rottening. <laughs> and, uh, and aging is drying in the meat. It becomes tenderized and just incredibly rich and flavorsome. One of the major things that we have discovered as well, how our cuisine has developed, is by meeting uh, people that grow food for us. They get too little respect. I shouldn't be the one speaking on a stage about the success of Noma because without these guys, there would be no Noma. We wouldn't have no success. These are really the true, the true heroes. It's not the professors that's on top. It's the farmers. It's these people that feed every one of you. We need to start giving them a little more credit for the work that they do.